Hello, and welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. I'm joined by Johannes Bender, Director in S&P's Frankfurt office, to talk about the life reinsurance industry. Johannes, what is S&P's view on the potential for growth in the life reinsurance market? Yeah, thank you, Dennis. We indeed believe that the global life reinsurance sector is facing sound growth potential in the next two years. Concrete, we believe that the uh, gross written premiums will grow uh, by 3 to 5 percent annually in 2016 and 2017. This is based on two main growth drivers in our view. The first one is growth in emerging markets. The global life reinsurance sector, in our view, is very well placed to help to develop primary insurance markets in emerging markets, in particular in Asia Pacific. And secondly, we believe that the industry is well placed to participate in growth in longevity business and in morbid morbidity business, where the industry can also help globally to develop these uh, primary insurance markets. This is actually against uh, a more flat development in the core US mortality business, which in our view will remain at best flat in terms of growth. Okay, and how will this, um, this growth and these focus on new markets and lines of business affect the risk profiles of life reinsurers? Yeah, indeed, we believe that these growth developments could have the potential to gradually change the risk profiles of the sector. Um, the main first uh, aspect is that longevity and mobility business, in our view, has somewhat different cash flow patterns compared to the core uh, mortality business and could also therefore create some more capital requirements for this business. Secondly, we believe that growth in emerging markets could bear some risk of um, sort of uh, lower experience and lower underwriting uh, experience in, in, these, in these sectors. On the contrary, we however believe that um, the industry's risk management capabilities are highly advanced and therefore we expect that too aggressive pricing and underestimation of risks will be limited by these uh, well advanced risk management capabilities. Interesting. And so we're expecting growth and a potentially a change in the risk profiles. What impact could this have on reinsurers profitability? The global life reinsurance industry in our view has shown a strong historic uh, bottom line profitability, what we have observed. Although we have seen some volatility, uh, for example, in 2014 from um, underperforming Austrian disability business. Nevertheless, we assess the historic performance as strong. Going forward, we believe that the industry will transfer its sound growth prospects um, into continuously strong performances. Concrete, we believe that the sector will report a return equity of above 10% in 2016 and 2017 uh, and therefore will uh, compare relatively favorably with the global uh, property casualty reinsurance sector, which we estimate more in a range of 7 to 9% in 2016 and 2017. Thanks, Johannes. For more information on the life reinsurance market or the wider reinsurance market, please visit our website www.spratings.com forward slash reinsurance. Thanks for joining us.